ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what is up? I am here today to give my thoughts, basically, a synopsis on the past weekend's New York Comic Con 2015 in Manhattan. Now, basically, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you guys the good, the bad, the con as a whole, and the Kishimoto stuff. Now, the Kishimoto stuff, I'm going to say for last about what I tried to do and how I failed because there were people that were intense like they were like whoa like Kishimoto's here we're gonna spend uh, like 15 hours waiting for this guy online and I was like bro so here's the thing first of all all right first of all let me talk about the good I did actually see and talk to a few fans of mine that was kind of cool I mean yeah I'm, I'm gloating but whatever all right it was it was still cool it was cool as shit you know, I'm, I'm walking about, looking at artwork and shit, and all of a sudden I get a, yo, yo, yo. I'm like, ah, oh, god damn it. All right, I turn around, it's like, yo, what's up, king? I'm like, yo, what's up, man? What's up, how you doing? And then, you know, it was cool, it was cool. And it kind of just shows me that even though I'm just a guy on the web, I do have a certain degree of influence. And I'm like, ugh. Like, 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 the power is mine, bitches. I was like, oh, damn, you know? Now, the... Second cool thing was seeing the video game stuff, and there'll be a little video right here where it was basically Dark Souls 3, and I was like, yeah! Like, granted, they had Street Fighter 5, they had uh, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, they had some Digimon game, there was something to, something to do with, uh, what was that one game? Ah, uh, Sword Art Online 2, oh, fuck it. Sword Art Online video games? Fuck it. Dark Souls 3 was there. I was like, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm in there, son. I was in there. I was playing me some Dark Souls 3. I'm well, I can't say that I'm ready for Dark Souls 3. No one's ready for Dark Souls 3. I'm ready for the ass whooping that I'm going to receive. Because we all know when you play Dark Souls, when you play FromSoft, you're going to get your ass beat. So at least I have some degree of cushion when it comes to this ass whooping. So... But but it looks good, all right. It looks good. Right now it's like a alpha beta stage because I don't think it's like full blown beta. I think it's like alpha beta. That's the way it seemed to me. But either way, it, it looks good so far, and I'm stoked for Dark Souls Three. You're gonna see some Dark Souls Three on my Twitch account. There's no doubt about it. It's, it's happening. Now, the next thing is when it came to some merch that I bought. I did buy a few things that were pretty cool. First of all, I did buy the third volume of One Punch Man. Third volume. I couldn't get volumes one and two. One and two were unbelievably elusive. Because every time I'd go there, they would always sell out. Even in the mornings, they would sell out relatively quick. Because they were on sale for 15 bucks, both volumes. So I'm like, like, like I got three, but I wanted one and two, so now I need to go online and do it the old-fashioned way. Then after volume three, I got the next two compendiums of The Walking Dead. Walking Dead Compendium number two and Walking Dead Compendium number three. So I got those at Comic-Con. Technically, Compendium number three wasn't even out at that point in time. But I just got it anyway because I am actually liking Compendium number one. I haven't finished it all because there's a lot of stuff there. But basically... I have two and three waiting on deck. And at some point, I'm going to actually review volume of um, the uh, Walking Dead Compendiums. Well, why not? Shit. I mean, the Walking Dead series, I have massive problems with. But the anime, I mean, not the anime, the, <laughs> the TV show. But the compendiums, the actual comic, I, it's pretty damn good. I cannot deny it. And that was really it. I didn't really buy any t-shirts like I normally would. From these kind of conventions, because I just like I just wanted to hold back my money. I didn't want to like spend like crazy, but you know that was it right there. Now, so that was mainly the good stuff, you know. And when it comes to stuff that was bad, because there were a few things that were bad. Now, well, first of all, me personally, I did experience this one failure aside from the whole Kishimoto thing, where it was I was trying to get I forgot what his name was, but a friend of mine knows this artist. And he was an artist, Ali. And what I really wanted was a full-body portrait of Carl 
from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I was like, bro, like, if, yo, if I had gotten that shit, it would be right there. It would be right there, son. Right next to old school Master Chief. Right, right, right there. A full body portrait of Carl. But no, I, that didn't happen. Because the individual actually changed the way they organize, how they do, how they structure their commissions. And I was like, fuck. So, that, that would have made my weekend. All right, the Kishimoto thing, yes, but having a full body, you know, portrait of Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger, I would have made my fucking weekend, but that didn't happen. Shit, goddammit. And then, it was the whole organization of the con itself, where normally, okay, I can't say normally. Last year, when you were at an event, so let's say that there was an event in room 1A24, and there was an event that was going to take place after that event in the same room, you had to leave because you were there for a previous event and you were online for a previous event. But in this year's Comic-Con, that only applied to the main hall, all right, the main theater, where you needed an actual wristband per event. But when it came to sub-events and certain rooms, like let's say there was something to do with Funimation, Aniplex, um, Sunrise, if you were there in that room for a previous event, you could sit down and you could wait for the upcoming event if you want to see that event as well. And that to me was ridiculous because that means that there were more folks online who waited there for a long period of time that couldn't get in because there were folks already in there waiting for the upcoming event. That to me, I didn't like at all. So when it came to the event structure, that was bad. And then the whole Kishimoto shit was just... Saturday in particular, I was like, what the fuck? So the overall event, the overall event, I think, was good, but it was not nearly as good as, like, let's say, last year. Or the year before last year, my personal opinion, honestly. That's my personal take on that. So, the Kishimoto stuff was, he was the mission, okay? The mission was to have Kishimoto actually read this shirt. Now, this shirt says, the fourth great ninja war is garbage. That, that's what it says, the boom. In Japanese conscience, a friend of mine did this. The fourth great ninja war is garbage. And on the back of the t-shirt, th th this is legendary, dude. Yeah, yeah. You see the, yeah, yeah. Yo, I have it, I had it on point, son. It was on point. Kishimoto would have been looking at this big black dude as he's signing some Naruto vime, an old Naruto vime, obviously. Mm -hmm. Part one. And he would have seen this thing, like, in Japanese, so, like, the translator couldn't be like, oh, yeah, like, Big Black Man says, no, 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 fuck that shit. Boom. Right here in kanjis, in your language, so you can read it. And then, boom, as I'm walking away, boom, like, get kubo like, that, that, perfect. I wouldn't care if I was kicked from the event. I wouldn't give a fuck. Because Kishimoto, he has so many fans that are like, oh, Kishimoto, yeah. Kishimoto-sensei, I love your work. You're so good, thank you. He's not going to remember these people. He's not. But if you have a big black dude that's towering over you with the shirt that says the fourth grade ninja war is garbage, your last arc is garbage, he can be pissed for all I care. He's not going to forget about that shit. Mm -mm. That's going to be engraved in his mind forever. That, that was the mission. That was the mission, man. I was ready to stand and deliver, but unfortunately, on Thursday, that event was just packed. It was called The Evening with Kishimoto. That was swamped like dead ass early in the morning, man. Like, <laughs> understand that. It was called The Evening with Kishimoto, and that shit was packed in the morning. Uh, crazy, like pe people just flooded, like oh Kishi sends it, yeah, 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 and I'm like, god damn it. And then there was the Boruto film and the Kishimoto sign on Saturday, and this was abysmal on the part of the New York Comic Con as a whole. Before the Boruto film, there was a Q and A with Kishimoto and uh, Junko Takeuchi, the female voice actress for the uh, for Naruto. And that was pretty cool. Right? I mean, it, it, even though some of the questions, I was like, eh, like you guys could, you know, do better Q and A style. You guys really could, but they're not there to, you know, be hardcore. Just to make everyone's mood, you know, better after waiting online for, you know, X amount of hours. Some folks were there for like legit over ten hours. I'm like, Shit. 
Like, I'm, cause I did that for Comic-Con tickets. I don't want to do that again. If it was Oda, nigga, I would have been the first one online. Like, she, man, I'm here at 5 o'clock in the damn afternoon. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. If it was, if it was Miura, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, we set, man. I would have brought a 10 and everything. Just saying. But here's what happened. The Comic-Con, the way they scheduled it, the way they set it, was that the Boruto film and the Kishimoto sign. The Kishimoto sign was at 10 a.m. The Boruto film was at 11.30 a.m. And the way they had the schedule was that the first 100 people on the Boruto line, on the Boruto film line, were going to have the signing event for Kishimoto. That's the way it was structured. That's the way it was set up. However, here's what they pulled. They made two separate lines. So even though on their event schedule it said one thing, when it came to, you know, actual, like, date, when it came to the actual event itself, they made two separate lines. They had one line at 10 p.m. Friday for the Kishimoto signing at 10 a.m. Saturday. And 100 people already showed up. So what they did was that they had those folks online. They took the 100 folks. They gave them wristbands. And then the folks could leave. They could leave. So they didn't have to go through like the struggle of some folks that believed that the line was still going on at like 12 a.m. At like 1 a.m. At like, you know, 4 a.m. For the Kishimoto signing. They didn't properly announce it. They didn't have a sign or anything. All they had was some security guys walking around. And on occasion, if you you know if you ask them, they would let you know. Oh yeah, yeah, like the tickets, like they're gone. They went out at 10 p.m. Uh, th uh, Friday night. So there were folks online at like you know 12 a.m. at like 1 a.m. who had no idea that two hours earlier they had already sold out all of the signing for Kishimoto tickets. They had already sold all them shits out. And these fuckers were there for like you know legit 10 hours, and they were pissed. For obvious reasons. Because it wasn't until later on when they actually, like, it wasn't until, like, 8 a.m. or, like, 9 a.m. when they actually announced, oh, yeah, like, there are no more signs for Kishimo tickets. So, like, it, it was, nah, man, like, it, it just wasn't that well structured at all. And that was very irksome. So, had not Random Vibe had actually, you know, gone to... The line at like around 10 p.m. Friday, and actually, had told me about how they had two separate lines, and so the line that folks were on was specifically for the Boruto film. I would have actually been there at like three o'clock in the morning waiting online, and it would have been all pointless. So I'm happy I came much later than that. Got some sleep in me and shit because that would have been some bullshit. I mean, it was already bullshit to begin with. So, it is what it is. And, yeah, I, I failed. For now. All right? Understand that I'm still... This, as long as this shirt still exists... I, I'm still going to try. I'm, I'm still going to give it my all. Oh, more so my all. Because he has to see this. All right? It's one thing to just be a simple fan. But all of a sudden... When you have someone like me come in, the picture changes. All right, the the picture changes for better or for worse. And I have no problems getting kicked out of an event for that. Zero. I am that brazen. And that's it. So the, the that was my Comic Con weekend in a video that's kind of like twenty minutes long. Whatever, I don't care. So King Lightning, rate the video, comment, subscribe. Have a nice goddamn day.